name is Michael Essen and I'm the director of the International Drawing Research Initiative here at the College of Fine Arts. The college has focused over the last eight years on drawing. We have established this link between the Central Academy of Fine Art in Beijing and the Glasgow School of Art in Scotland and of course Crawford. Our purpose is to try and promote and encourage drawing in all its particular characteristics, mm -hmm. exhibitions, projects, events, colloquium, and of course this time uh, the fourth Drawing Connections International Conference. This um, exhibition that we're currently standing in is called Liberation Feet and it's an exhibition of contemporary Chinese drawings that are curated to be associated with the conference and together with another exhibition is called Marking Time nearer the venue of the, the conference itself. Drawing is always involved uh, a double process, a withdrawal from the world and a drawing out of the invisible into the world that we can handle. And I've just wanted to try and bring to the attention particularly of students and practicing artists that that double movement is a very important resource when we come to combat uh, very reductive approaches to placemaking. An enriched graphic language is a way that we can reintroduce bodies, crowds, groups, the experience of horizons, the experience of coming and going. So, graphicality, but also uh, an ethical practice for the world we live in. So every year at Kofa we have a Tim Olson Drawing Award. Tim Olson is a past graduate of Kofa who runs a gallery in Sydney, and these for are for our honours, our masters and our PhD students. But only those who really focus entirely on drawing. It's not for our students who do maybe a little bit of drawing here and there, but those who are particularly using it as a major means of expression. And I'd like to congratulate Kathy Yeh. Yeah.